hey there, just getting up. You can probably still see the mask thing on my face <laughs> um, from the CPAP. How's it going? It was asked, what was it that influenced that last little tune that I was working on, sort of a, a loop that I'll eventually make not a loop, but um, what influenced it was how recently, so uh, two women in, in Portland, their business was shut down by SJWs because they got harassed, harassed so much because they dared to be two white girls wanting to run a Mexican restaurant. Okay, this, this, this pissed me off to no end. Pissed me off to no end. I had no words. Because here's the thing, okay? Cultural appropriation, the concept of it, is bullshit. We wouldn't have any music without cultural appropriation. We wouldn't have any art without cultural appropriation. We wouldn't have good things if it wasn't for cultural appropriation. I don't care what culture you have attached to an item or a piece of entertainment or anything. I don't care and no one should care what culture is associated with something else. Okay, if there's things that you like, you take from the best and you leave the, the rest behind. You take from the, the good things from any, anywhere that you can and you build upon them. You improve upon them. That's why we have such great things here in, in these first world industrialized countries. This is why we have great things, is because of cultural appropriation. And here some of you jackasses out there are trying to say it's a bad thing, and you want to shut down someone's business. Because they dared to have a type of food that, oh, it doesn't represent white people. No, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. You know, I... I the song, if I eventually finish it, will be called Cultural Appropriation. Because, any, again, any fucking song is doing cultural appropriation. You're taking from some little bits of things that you've heard in the past and saying, well, what if I do this with it? And what if I do this with it? Okay, that's what it is. But now, as I said, now we're shutting down businesses because of this shit. No, fuck you. You know, if, if, if it's okay to punch a Nazi, if it's okay to punch a Nazi for having th their belief systems, okay, which I don't think it is uh, uh, cool to punch a Nazi, but if it is, then it should also be cool to punch an SJW who thinks that businesses should be shut down because of cultural appropriation. You know, I, I'm, I, it makes me in my head, I'm not going to actually do it, but it makes me in my head want to punch so many SJWs who shove forth this shit. It makes me want to punch Cat Black. It makes me want to cunt punch Riley Dennis. It makes me want to punch a lot of these people. I would never do it, but in my mind, I want to. I don't see any of these Nazis, people you're calling Nazis, or whether they're white supremacists or white separatists or white people who like white people, I don't see any of them cramming things, trying to ruin people's businesses. I don't see them trying to shove forth laws that are restrictive. I don't see them doing this shit. They're not the ones causing damage right now. They're not the terrorists right now. These SJW leftist shitfucks are. Fuck you.